Good evening and welcome to Jim Monday's World of Weather. You clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for July 6th to 18th. For July 6th to the 10th, we're forecasting a trough or an upper low over the Aleutians. We have a ridge above Noma Heights over Alaska and to the northwest. And we have a trough upper low off the California coast. And we have a trough in the east. The models are in good agreement with this. And we also have a subtropical uh, ridge, you might want to call it, um, across the southern U.S. And this is the GFS we're looking at. We're going to go to the 10th now. And we see very little change. So we'll have uh, generally a trough off the California coast, ridge over um, western uh over Alaska, Western Canada, and to the Northwest, and then we look at the GFS, the Europe, the uh, European terministics. This is the um, European ensembles, and we also now we have um, oops, the Canadian, and they're all extended. This now um, most of the activity, I think will be across um, this area extending into Tennessee, Ohio Valley along a frontal boundary. Trough of upper, the trough and the upper low off the west coast. It will send multiple impulses initiating um, some convective development and cooling for the far west. At times, temperature anomalies are forecast to be about 8 to 12 degrees above normal in the west, and anomaly to 6 degrees below normal forecast for uh, above normal in the southeast, and below normal temperatures forecast for the center of the nation and to the northeast with anomalies up to 6 degrees below normal. We're going to look now at the period of July 9th through the 13th. Here we are at the 10th. Now, the models seem to be like all over the place during this period. I'm going to show you this. Um, one thing for certain is that the uh, ridge remains across the southern U.S. and we have a trough over here off the west coast and we have above normal heights here, below normal heights across this area. But then as we go through the other models, like this is a GFS, look at the European, um, look at the GFS ensembles, the European... They're all forecasting a flatter flow across much of the nation. And then we look at the um, climate forecast system anomalies. And we're going to go to the 13th. Here we are, the 13th. Forecasting a flatter flow. We have a trough here moving into the western U.S. So it's generally a flatter flow. Now, um, so during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here and here. Not so sure about this yet due to the trough, above normal temperatures for this region. And we're going to go look at the temperature anomalies. And we see the temperature anomalies generally uh, forecasting above normal temperatures here, below here, above normal temperatures for this region. So in the above normal temperature region, we're expecting temperatures to be about 48 degrees above normal, which has come down from the 12 degrees above normal that I was forecasting earlier in the week. And the below normal temperatures in the upper Mississippi Valley with anomalies of 6 degrees below normal <clears throat> for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation here, below normal precipitation here. This hasn't changed since yesterday. So now we're going to look at the period for July 14th to the 18th. Here we are at the 14th. And we have generally, uh, this is GFS forecast below normal heights across the northern U.S. Here's our ridge across here. And then we look at the ensembles. They're forecasting above normal heights here. The trough still across this region. And we have the other, well, generally near to above normal heights across much of the nation. 
we're going to look at the weekly, the CFS weekly, and we're going to go to the 18th. Oh, went too far. Generally forecasting, here's our ridge here. Still forecast the same thing, 588, but generally a flat flow near normal heights across much of the nation. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here and here with anomalies of about 4 to 8 degrees above normal. We're going to look at the anomalies. I think this would be more like it's about 4 to 8 degrees above normal for precipitation. I'm calling for below normal precipitation here, above normal precipitation for this region. So that is the long range with forecast discussion for July 6th to 18th. Thanks, thank you for coming, Jim, on these World of Weather, and have a good day.